Hey YouTube, it is day 51 of our Carolina Reaper Deep Water Culture Hydroponic Grow. It's been a little bit since we've had a, had an update, but as you can see, uh, this one right here is looking amazing. This one is under our CFL light. If you haven't seen our videos in this series before, we're growing four pepper plants, two under a CFL light, two under an LED light, and one bucket under each light is using urban hydroponics pepper and herb food and one bucket under each of the lights is using aurora innovations soul brand nutrients the one that we're looking at currently is using the urban hydroponics food it's doing very well uh the the leaves are coming in great as i've talked about i'm not super familiar with growing peppers because i've never done it but from everything i can find it looks like it's doing pretty well we're getting some nice undergrowth in here and if we take a look at the roots we've got a lot of root growth in here as we've talked about in the previous videos the urban hydroponics has been super easy to maintain the ph i set it once after i've changed the nutrients and i check it every other day and I've never had to make an adjustment. The I've changed the nutrients three times now in the 51 day period and for a little while it looked like I was getting a CalMag deficiency. The leaves were starting to uh, curl up. Uh, I changed the water immediately and the issue seemed to get better. We're going to move over to the Reaper underneath the Aurora Innovations Soul Nutrients. Not doing very good. Uh, can't say that it's just luck with the seed, but the plant underneath the LED using the Aurora Innovation Soul Nutrients looks about the same way. I started two seeds recently, again, to replace these because they're not going to make it, and I will try. I will stick with the Aurora Soul just to keep the experiment because I think it's pretty neat doing a side-by-side -side battle of nutrients under different lights, but, uh, not too... but I'm not too confident that anything is going to change. And it may just be coincidence, like I said, but we'll see. Uh, we'll probably get the seeds planted on Tuesday once they get a little bit bigger and go from there. Moving on over to the LED light station, we have the plant with the urban hydroponics nutrients doing very well. The stem or base of the plant seems to be a little thicker than the CFL. The leaves are quite a bit bigger and have a darker green color to them. If we take a look at the roots, it also seems, appears that the roots are doing quite a bit better. But same deal over here. I've only had to adjust a nutrient or adjust the pH once after I've taken care of uh, changing the nutrients. Now, like I've discussed, I've never grown peppers before. If anybody could give me a heads up, uh, A, does this growth look about normal for 51 days? And should I take off some of these leaves on the bottom here to get some of the new growth more light? Uh, if you could post a comment below, I'd appreciate it. And when should I start looking at topping? Because I want to keep this shorter. Um, this, uh, any advice would help. See, we're going to shift over to the Aurora Innovation Soul Nutrients. And just like over under the CFL, it pretty much is dead. Uh, could be coincidence. So once we get the new seed started, we'll see where we're at. And uh, we'll try, we'll give the Aurora Innovations one more shot. Especially seeing we got the whole system for free. And it's quite expensive. As always, at the end of our videos, please like us subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos, and if you have any questions or comments, throw them down below in the comment section or send me a private message. I love doing experiments, and just if you have any questions or suggestions or anything, just shoot me a line. Till next time, talk to you later.